just another dang how to channel so if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my youtube channel on this video we're going to learn how to install windows 11 on an apple silicon machine so what i have here is an apple uh, m1 pro chip so we're gonna try to install the windows 11 arm version so first thing you want to do is grab the uh, software to support it so uh head over to mac get utm that app so we're gonna use utm which is a full featured system emulator and a virtual host machine so you have the option to download that um, dmg installer or do it from the app store so your pick so from the tool uh, you could use it for a virtualized environment um, to host windows linux and you could also do it for mac os so one thing to note for the utm is that you cannot run games on it so one of the questions there is asking if they could run it but utm does not currently support the gpu emulation or virtualization so none of those work the support for the 3d acceleration like opengl and direct DirectX. so anything that requires the gpu you can't run it on uh, this emulator cool uh, but it's free it's open source and you could contribute to the project so go ahead and download that uh, the other piece that you need to download from utm is this software called spice so this spice allows the uh, virtualized windows to access the internet so go ahead and download this as well and finally you need the um windows 11 arm version so go ahead uh visit uh insider.windows.com uh, sign up it's free uh, register for the uh, insider program and from there you'll be able to get to uh, download uh, this preview build so i'll drop all this uh, links in the description below so technically we need to grab the vhdx file so i already did the download downloaded all those software i already installed the utm software so installation of this is straightforward you just launch the dmg installer like you typically do on a mac machine put it on your applications folder and then launch it so you'll be greeted with this message so first thing you want to do is cl click on the create a new virtualized machine uh, select uh, virtualize and from there for the operating system select uh, windows and for the windows you say import vxdx vhdx image yes uf uh, ufi boot and for the file to import uh, grab the windows vhdx file that you downloaded and click on next uh, allocate some memory uh, also allocate some cores so i'll put eight cores in here probably put um i don't know eight eight gigs as well and from there just uh, continue with the defaults and save cool so once you get that uh loaded uh, you would see it's now ready to be start uh, start just click on the play so before you do that let's do one thing which is browse for that spice image go under there click on browse and select this spice image that uh, was also downloaded so if i go here so that's the spice uh, guest tools so this would allow the machine to connect to the internet so once that is done just click on play uh, the boot it would take some time once this loader is done it would then start the uh, windows image cool so this will go to the setup um, sometimes there's a weird behavior with the mouse as you can see my mouse doesn't go inside so I find that weird so uh, what I do is I just use the tab uh, key on the keyboard uh, for now I'll just say United States say yes skip so this is the part where a lot of people get stuck so you you don't have the option to skip this command 
So what you do is um, hit the shift and function key and on your keyboard and hit F10. That should bring out the Windows command prompt. And from here, type this command. O O B E forward slash bypass and R O. So when you hit that, that would reboot the installation and skip uh, the prompt for connecting to the internet. Uh, it might take some couple of tries I notice uh, for that step it keeps on repeating but hopefully this time around it, let's see what happens hope it's a little bit better yep now well, still doesn't work so I'll use the keyboard skip now you see we have this option when you're connecting to the internet I would say I don't have internet and then use the tab key again and say continue with limited setup okay so this didn't go didn't loop back so now i agree to the uh, terms and condition give it a name um, the password Some security questions. I'll just put some dummy security. Hit and accept. And there you go. So it should start loading now. I'll start making this a little bit bigger. Cool. there you go and now the mouse is working so windows is loaded but one thing you'll notice is when i click on this uh, start without that confirm browsing uh, it's not connected to the internet right so open up the explorer uh, go to the d drive and now the uh, iso that we loaded should be in there so let's go ahead and install that click yes next agree Cool. it's rescaled itself uh, it's gonna ask to reboot go ahead and reboot let's make this a little bit bigger so let me enter my password cool so resolution seems to have fixed itself let me open the edge browser see if we could connect to the internet yep so internet's now working um, and all of this should be familiar to windows users cool so there you have it a uh, quick tutorial on how to install windows 11 on an apple um, silicon machine so to escape this uh, simply click on the shutdown that should shut down and save and close it up cool so if you like this video, thumbs up. Yeah, if you have some comments, some suggestions, hit them down on the comments below. Uh, cheers. Bye for now.